what you have to do if your Google Ads conversion tracking is not verified on your Shopify store. Hello and welcome. My name is Olu Wale, and in this video, I will show you what you can do in order to get conversion data in your Google Ads account so that you can use the data to optimize your campaign for better performance. Right now in this Google Ads account, as you can see, I have some impressions, clicks. However, I don't have any conversion recorded for this account. Unfortunately, I have installed the conversion snippet on the website, but it is not verified up to this moment. So if I go straight to the tools and click on the conversion that I arrive on the conversion page, you will realize that I already installed the conversion snippet on the website. However, it is not verified. So I want to go ahead and look at the conversion snippet on the Shopify website so that you can see where it is installed on the website. Remember, Shopify does not have a specific template on the team page where you can add the script for conversion tracking. So the only provision is on the setting, then the checkout, then the additional scripts section. So this is the additional script section and that is where I installed the Google Ads conversion snippet. Unfortunately, after installing this for the past few days, the tracking code is not verified on this store. However, I need this so that I'll be able to track conversion on the website and I will be able to use the data to optimize my advert on Google. So what do I do now? The next thing I want to do now is I want to check the information available on the Shopify website, whether I'll be able to go ahead and get this thing verified. So I go straight to this help center and I can see add conversion tracking to your other status page. But unfortunately, there's one thing I want you to see here. On this page, we have four options available. And the first option is Google Analytics conversion tracking. Now, you need to take note of this. Instead of Google Ads conversion tracking, what Shopify have on this help center is Google Analytics conversion tracking. This could mean that the recent update or the recent versions of Google Ads does not support direct conversion installation on Shopify website. So you can see now Shopify does not provide help for Google Ads conversion tracking on their platform. They only provided Google Analytics conversion tracking. And for that, if you go ahead and read the information, you will realize that they are only tracking conversion via Google Analytics on Shopify. So I want to use that now to help us track conversion on this website so that you can import the data to your Google Ads account, then you'll be able to use the conversion data to optimize your campaign for better results. So I'll go straight to the Google Analytics. Like I said previously, I have already installed the Google Ads conversion tracking on the website, but it was not verified. And now in the Google Analytics, you can see that the website is actually getting conversion. As you can see here, we have over 1.1K revenue generated in the last seven days. Now, that shows that the adverts are converting on the website. But what you are seeing on the Google ad is that you don't have any conversion recorded for this account. And if you want to use some bidding strategies like return on ad spend or maximize conversions, you will not be getting the results you're looking for because you don't have data for optimization. Now I want to go ahead and set up a goal in this Google Analytics account. Then I will import the goals back to the Google Ads account. Then I will be able to use that goal to optimize my campaign. So I scroll to the bottom of this page and I want to see all the pages that people are interacting with on the website. And then I want to pick up a, a couple of pages so that I can use it to configure the phone. Name. Then I will be able to get accurate data for the conversions on the website. So I click on page report. After clicking on page report, all the pages come up. You can see the page view, this and that. And then you can see the conversion value and so on there. So what I'm interested in is I want to check if I will be able to see the thank you page, the checkout page, the other process and so other information I needed for this goal to be configured properly. Here we have checkout payment, we have checkout processing, checkout shipping. Let's go to the next one. Then we have a, a checkout thank you. That is awesome. I want to use the checkout thank you and some other pages I think is necessary for me to configure a funnel so that I can get accurate data for the conversion. So I have some of them added in my notepad so i want to use the checkout payment and checkout thank you that two information will be enough for me to track the go accurately and then i'll be able to import that to my google as account so let's go back to the go from the settings so i click on go 
then I click on add new goal then I select checkout complete and I go to the continue then I give it a name if I like I can give it a name maybe uh, order complete order received now after giving it a name then I want to choose the type and the type is destination so I click on continue so here I want to paste the URL and that is the page that the person arrived after completing the payment and for this we are going to use the checkout thank you page and that is exactly the page you will see when their payment is successfully completed so I click on that then I don't want to add any value for this because we have variable values for the order on the website so I want to use the funnel it's also optional to use the funnel but it is important to use it so that you don't end up tracking people who went back to the website to check their other status instead of people who actually initiated a transaction on the website now you want to click on phone then you want to add another name here let's say uh, payment page then you want to enter the payment information here this is the URL then you enter the URL then I want to make it required then I'll click on verify this group so when i click on verify this group i can see i have 2.34 conversions in the last seven days that shows that the go is correctly configured then i can go ahead and save it but because i have already configured a go on this account i will not save this i will just go ahead and cancel this now the next thing i want to do is i want to go back to the google as i can then i go straight to the conversion page then from the conversion page i want to create a new conversion so i click on plus button then I see there are some options available here I want to go straight to the import conversion as you can see you see analytics is there I want to select Google Analytics then I click on continue then I will see which go is available in my Google Analytics that I can import to this particular website you can see this go check out go and you can see May 21st 2021 that is the go I configured today then I click on it then I import it to this account so when I import it to this account you see you have imported one go from Google Analytics. This will start recording the conversion data from the Google Analytics in this Google Ads account and I will be able to use this data to optimize my campaign subsequently. Because I just created this go, you won't see any data in this Google Analytics account just for now. But in the next few days, you will start seeing the data and you can start using the data to optimize your campaign. That is the alternative way for creating a conversion tracking in your Google Ads account if your Shopify conversion tracking is not verified. I hope you have learned something in this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask and I will address every single question. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.